Hey yo, it is I, the one with the conscious eye, Hustle God, in the building, and I'm here tonight to talk about something that's very controversial uh, in the media uh, right now on different platforms is being um, spoken about, and, and, and the reason I feel like I gotta come out and speak about this is because I feel like it's coming a lot from a lot of people that's not involved and the things that they're speaking on. So they're speaking from a place of ignorance. It is I, the one with the conscious eye. You are tuned into the Hustle Guy channel. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and share my videos. When I get to a thousand subscribers, I can go live. Right now, I only got 10 minutes on my account, on my clock. So I'm going to try to say what I can say in 10 minutes. Uh, so excuse me if it's not uh, perfectly articulated or thoroughly articulated in one video or so. Uh, maybe when I do get my live, I can go live because a lot of these these topics are timeless. You know, just like with the uh, thing going on right now with the uh, with the uh, uh, African American Black community. Uh, this is nothing new. Everything that they're fighting for, asking for, and complaining about has been the same thing they've been fighting for, asking for, and complaining about since the Civil Rights Movement. Uh, not with, without a, without as much change, without as much progress. So with that being said, I digress, but I don't, because what I have to say kind of ties in to that once again, because what I'm talking about is this LGBTQ strife that's going on right now, the commentary, the controversy that's surrounding it right now, which basically has been sparked by the baby's comments um, about the LGBT community. Now, yes, a person does have a right to feel however they want to feel about uh, people, about their sexuality and other people's sexuality. But it wasn't so much that the baby spoke about how they felt, felt about sexuality. The baby basically made a statement that, you know, the, the dirty gays against the clean gays and, um, and that yeah, dirty gays have AIDS, and which is a, you know, a very ignorant, stigmatic statement. Uh, with that being said, that's, that sparked a whole bunch of other commentary that really is unrelated to that specific topic. And it's more like, okay, if that's your choice, then live your choice. Even little Nas X been dragged into this just because of his sexuality. None of the other gay performers out there right now, but just because he's openly displaying his sexuality. And I understand where people have a dilemma with what he's doing. Uh, he's um, advertising himself to children and he he's advertising uh and he and he's of a particular sexuality you know and when he makes his his music and his videos he's uh basically uh uh, uh is, is giving that type of uh a lifestyle sharing that type of lifestyle with children which is very kind of inappropriate and that's that kind of brings me to where i want to go with this whole thing where i'm trying to get to in under 10 minutes but a lot of times people say, oh, gay people, you can do what you want to do, uh, but just keep that over there. Just keep that to yourself. You know, uh, the kids don't need to see or hear about it. And I understand there is an agenda and there are uh, kids being um, uh, sexualized at very early ages and being taught about things that they shouldn't have to be taught about at very early ages are being exposed to. But also understand that sexuality is not just something that goes on behind closed doors and this is really what i want to get to and the uh, actual uh, uh specifics that got me to wanting to say this maybe i'll get back to around to them after the 10 minutes but the most important part is for me to say this part and that sexuality is not something that's just expressed behind closed doors we, we as an adult, as a parent, uh, we need to be more mindful of the things that we allow our children to engage in, to, uh, that we allow our uh, children to um, be exposed to uh, adult things. I don't, I particularly, I'm a lesbian, I don't, I partic I don't particularly put myself into space, spaces where children be, where children are, um, but I am sure children encounter me in some way, some shape, or some form. Um, no, they don't usually encounter me having a sexual relations with another woman, or nobody usually does, you know, nobody does for that matter. Um, but there are ways that a person can express their sexuality, and it doesn't have to 
necessarily um, it can't necessarily be it isn't necessarily behind closed doors for instance the way that I dress um, I'm not a transsexual I do not have no sex jobbies these are how little my chest is I did not get a voice change or do something to manipulate my voice or take no drugs to manipulate my voice who I am is who I am so sometimes you just get these anomalies where uh, people don't always line up to what the society tells you that their gender should, uh, the characteristics their gender should exhibit. You know, some men have high voices like a woman. Some men have very beautiful faces. Some women have very masculine faces. Some women are very mu muscular. Some very, men are, are very unmuscular. Um, I think a lot of time we put these... Um, we put these constructs on um, men and women that they behave in certain ways. And I know in old times, a lot of things used to, you know, make sense that way. But they, this in modern times, it really doesn't. And, and for one thing, I would say, like, I used to always give this analogy. is like back in the days, uh, men used to go out and uh, hunt the animal, kill the animal, drag the animal home. And so when the, we got the animal home, this woman is so glad that he's done all of this for her she's at least gonna uh, he, and more, more than likely he's probably skimp the animal and chop the animal up so that it's presented to the woman in a nice presentable you know manner and so it's the woman's so grateful for the man doing this that she cooks and prepares the meal for the man but it's because of the work that he's done now if you fast forward to modern times women are going out and killing their own animal shooting their own animal hunting their own animal killing their own animal dragging it home and cooking it themselves so we still want to define men and women by these gender specific duties and roles and and they don't really align with modern times they're really out of sync and so you hear a lot of people nowadays saying oh you you need to be a woman or you need to act like a woman or you need to be a man you need to act like a man and there's really all of that is really social construct there we are, at the end of the day we're all humans you're you're just a male version of the human i'm a female version of the human um, I can procreate and have children. You have babies in your nutsack. You understand? So we're the same but different. Just like you got black people and white people. You know what I'm saying? Black people have melanin. White people don't. You know, they do have melanin around some most of their cell, but it's not like the same way black people have melanin. So they're the same. They're both humans, though, but they're the same, but they're different. And so that that's one of the key um issues with with sexuality these days is that uh, we have to live up to the social standards of what a male and what a female is and sometimes those don't align with who with our spirits are and they cause conflict and it doesn't always have to uh uh, uh mean that you have a uh it, it doesn't have to always uh be related to your sexual preference that's why you have tomboys and so and so forth they're not uh, lesbians or bisexual women they're just aggressive women that still uh, mostly for the most part are attracted to males and so uh, it knows are what you would call women fixing cars building houses engineers the women that you uh, call strong women are not the women that you're delicate flowers that you're normally used to and so basically uh, what I'm saying is that they these are these are things that men and women both share these desires for different aspects of a human of being a human that don't always uh, fall into the category of their specific sexuality or sex sex uh, sex their sex. So um, I know a lot of times we confuse sex with gender, and uh, gender is your spiritual uh, sex, and your sex is your parts, the sex parts. So you have male parts or female parts. But gender is not necessarily the same as your sex. It doesn't have to be. That's why you should study it uh, in the uh, the seven principles. One of those principles is gender. And uh, that's why a lot of people are going against duality right now. It's because they don't want to uh, accept this, this principle of gender that that we have uh, exhibits of male and female within us within each of us 
Uh, and with that being said, the sexual the expressions of sexuality don't always happen behind closed doors. Uh, some some women ex some women some men express themselves in a gender that is the opposite of the gender that they are naturally born in. And you in in the in the, in the social uh, construct that we have today, everything is like everywhere, and everyone can see it. So even though you're not performing a sexual act and, sh and sharing sexuality with, with the child, sexual information with the child per se, a child seeing you express your sexuality in such a way, it still causes um, a curiosity for their minds. So there's really, really no way to hide or shield your children from um, from from the exposure to homosexuality but it is uh something that you can do is educate your children on sexuality uh on, on what it means to be a man or what it means to be a woman um and um uh, being open and honest with them as much as you can and 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 and, and be and, and and allow them to uh come into their understanding uh, because the way that this world's running with the Equality Act, you really